नमस्ते मैं सर मनीष देशमुख डेप्टी डायरेक्टर इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च दत्ता मेघ इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस सर्वे सन्तु सुखि सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत माँ कशि दुख भाग भवे सो मै टॉपिक ऑफ लेक्चर इज आयुर्वेद एज अ एविडेंस बेस्ट मेडिसिन so what is the meaning of evidence based medicine it is defined as a system approach for finding and analyzing publishing data for the basis of clinical decision making it is also defined as a integration of the best research evidences with clinical expertise and patient values to make clinical decisions now this what are the you all are aware that all the modern medicines which are available for clinical practice are based on the evidences the meaning of evidences is the all medicines are supported with the data like mechanism of action with pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic effect uh, pharmacodynamic activities of that medicine then data available about the safety of that medicine and many more things but whenever we talk about ayurveda medicine do you think all this data is available for my ayurveda medicine so my in my opinion it is already available and it is already mentioned in different text like sushrut sahita charaka sahita 5000 years ago but all this data is mentioned in the form of ancient system of medicine not as a requirement of modern science so we need to interpret all this data or we need to present this data in the form of modern medicine so what exactly modern medicine is expecting from ayurveda it is in the form of safety and efficacy studies in the form of standardization in the form of modern doses forms the concept of evidence medicine is very important for all the physicians and they are required to use the current research findings and data to diagnose and treat patients though due to quick pace of modern day research keeping up with current research findings may be challenging and it's a, it's a challenging task this is where evidence based medicine comes as it effectively bridges the gap between modern day research and physicians so the essentially evidence based medicine is about asking important questions based on the patient needs findings appraising the relevant data and then using that data and conclusion in everyday clinical practices so what does it means it means that that we should have the all the data required to use this medicine in the patient for the benefit of the patients only the evidence referred to in evidence based medicine is a patient centered and clinically relevant research found in medical literature on diagnostic tests treatment techniques preventing programs and prognostic markers but evidence based medicine focus on research dealing with the day to day practice of patient care the evidence may prove or disprove previously accepted methods or demonstrate new ways of care that are more accurate and if effective and less harmful evidence based based medicine also recognize that the research literature is constantly changing what the evidence point to as the best method of practice today may change next year the modern era of evidence based medicine begins during the mid to late 20th century with the involvement of two important figures archie cochrane and david sackett this era was very important for evidence based medicine it led to the biggest development of what we know as a randomized control trial cochrane was effectively the first to show the importance significance and effectiveness of using randomized control trial for assessing treatments but ayurveda is a science of life and it is a system of traditional medicine which is native to india and a form of alternative medicine you all are aware that in sanskrit 
Ayurus means longevity and Veda means related to the knowledge or science. In the earliest literatures on Indian medical practice appeared during the Vedic period in India, that is in the mid second millennium, the Sushru Sahita and the Charak Sahita are encyclopedias of medicine compiled from various sources from the mid first millennium BC to about 500 C and are the foundational work of Ayurveda. Over the following centuries, Ayurvedic practitioner has developed a number of medical preparation and surgical procedure for the treatment of various elements. Current practices derived from Ayurvedic medicine are regarded as a part of complementary and alternative medicine. Ayurveda stressed a balance of three elemental energies or humors that are Vayu, Pitta and Kapha. According to Ayurvedic medical theory, these three substances, doshas, are important for health because when they exist in equal quantities, the body will be healthy and when they are not in equal amount, the body will be unhealthy in various ways. Up to 80% of people in India use either Ayurveda or other traditional medicine. In 1970, the Indian Medical Central Council Act, which aims to standardize qualification for Ayurveda and provide accredited institutions for its study and research was passed by the Parliament of India. In India, over 100 colleges offer degrees in traditional Ayurvedic medicines. The Indian government supports research and teaching in Ayurveda through many channels at both at national and state levels and help institutionalize traditional medicine so that it can be studied in major cities, towns and even villages also. The state sponsored Central Council for Research in Ayurvedic Sciences, the CCRAS, has been set up to research the subject, to fight biopiracy and unethical patents. The government of India in 2001 set up the traditional knowledge digital library as a repository for 1200 formulation of various systems of Indian medicine, such as Ayurveda, Yunani and Siddha. The library also has 50 traditional Ayurveda books digitalized and available online. Central Council of Indian Medicine, a statutory body established in 1971 under Ayush, the Department of Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. It works under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Several international and national initiatives have been formed to legitimize the education and practice of Ayurveda. The WHO policy of traditional medicine practice and standardized benchmark for training of Ayurveda practitioners. The European Federation of Complementary and Alternative Medicine and the European Ayurveda Association. There are two PubMed index journals focusing on Ayurveda. The Journal of Ayurveda and Integrative Medicine and the International Journal of Ayurveda Research focused on importance of evidence-based medicine. With the immense and rapid development in medicine, doctors and qualified medical personnel are focused to deal with large quantities of relevant research findings in order to maximize healthcare. To aid in their quest to find relevant research studies, it is important that there are simplified and efficient means to collect the relevant information. A relatively new framework known as evidence-based medicine was developed for clinical problem solving to help ease the stress put on the physicians. The foremost reason for using evidence-based medicine is to improve the care delivered to our patients. So, evidence-based medicine provides clinician the tool for finding and analyzing the quality of evidences so that they can benefit from the work of other clinicians described in medical literature.
the literature may also provide answers to new and unfamiliar clinical problem that arises in plant clinic during patient treatment. Evidence-based medicine also promotes critical thinking by clinicians. It requires that clinicians have the open mindedness to look for and try new methods scientifically supported by literature. And it, and it asks for clinical interventions to be scrutinized and proven effectively. In addition, evidence-based medicine offers way to critically evaluate the enormous amount of medical literature for value. In this way, clinical interventions and treatments are not just accepted because someone speaks of their effectiveness, but rigorous standard is applied to scientific data to determine whether the information has merit and its applicability. So, interest in use of complementary and alternative medicine has recently expanded in many countries around the world, like population-based studies in developed countries such as Australia, UK, Singapore, United States, Portugal, Brazil and so many countries report that one half to one third of adults use complementary therapies. Ayurveda, one of the alternative medicine and the science of life which is almost 5000 years old. It exists even today only because of its authenticity. In the last decade, lot of interest has been generated in the medical world regarding Ayurveda and other traditional medicine. However, all these efforts have led to the enrichment of knowledge of the Ayurvedic medicine and inclusion of some Ayurvedic herbs in modern Maitreya Medica. Though Ayurveda is one rise, some of the research scholars do not consider Ayurveda as evidence-based medicine due to lack of quality clinical trials and enough paper publication. What is the meaning of quality clinical trials doesn't mean only RCT, that randomized controlled trial. Quoted in one of the study, various researchers feel that conventional clinical trial regimen is not fit for Ayurveda. In one of the study, it has been opined that Ayurveda is based on 5000 years of clinical practice. Hence, in the place of conventional evidence-based medicine, clinical trial, practice-based clinical trial should be organized for Ayurveda. Baghel et al. opens that the regime of evidence-based clinical trial with its evidence-based hierarchy is not fit for Ayurvedic clinical trials. Evidence-based medicine clinical trial regimes limit to use of Prakriti, Dosha. Evidence-based clinical trial regimens limit the use of Prakriti, Dosha, Anubandha, Anubandhatva, Arambhaka, Anugami Dosha, Vikalpa and many other factors which leads to variations of doses from therapeutics like Panchakarma procedures to be added which leads to variation of doses. Hence, if the desired results of actual clinical practices are to be recorded, the protocol should be prepared of these lines supported by evidence-based medicine suitable for the purpose. Ayurveda required research in the areas of diagnostic principles of Ayurveda so that the Ayurvedic diagnosis can be made more pinpointed leading to more effective treatment strategies. Though Ayurveda is on rise, some of the research scholars do not consider Ayurveda as a evidence-based medicine due to lack of quality clinical trials and enough research papers or research articles. As quoted in one of the study, various researchers feel that conventional clinical trial regimen is not suitable or is not fit for Ayurveda because in one of the study it has been opined that Ayurveda is based on 5000 years of clinical practice hence in place of Conventional evidence-based medicine, clinical trials, practice-based clinical trials should be organized for Ayurveda. And here we are talking about the pragmatic clinical trial designs. So evidence-based medicine clinical trial regimens limit the use of Prakriti, Dosha, 
Anubandha, Anubandhatva and so many other factors which leads to variation of doses. The notion that the clinical judgment should be based on best available research is not new. In fact, the concept can be found in writing as far back as mid 19th century. The clinical trials in Ayurveda are needed for revalidation of facts enumerated in Ayurvedic classics leading to explanation of fundamental principles to find out better treatment modalities for the existing diseases and for newer diseases to standardize the treatment procedures scientifically and to establish dose, duration, indication and side effects profile of any given drug or all or the drugs which are available in Ayurveda text. From the above studies, it can be understood that the Ayurvedic science can also be considered as evidence-based medicine as all the treatment are practiced since 5000 years. Research-based are described in the most authentic book after being applied on larger number of patients and said to be effective. Though, Many post-graduation centers are conducting various research works in Ayurveda. It is not getting highlighted due to lack of publications and therefore Ayurveda fraternity is still behind in creating the awareness of the science among the society. At the Tamahe Institute of Medical Sciences, Dim University, we are concentrating and conducting clinical trials. We are concentrating on standardization of herbal medicine establishing safety and efficacy of Ayurveda medicine and conducting clinical trials with the by the conducting clinical trial by applying pragmatic trial as quoted in Bakel's study practice based clinical trial of evidence based medicine should be designed for Ayurveda Ramasundar Rao states that Ayurveda has to be brought to public and common man government must give proper place to Ayurveda which is indigenous to his soul. Ayurvedic colleagues and research centers have to be open on par with allopathic medicine, medical colleges. The products prepared in these colleges and PG centers must be given proper encouragement. And the techniques and the skills of surgery described in the science must be modernized to suit the present day condition proper publicity, propaganda and manufacturing and marketing of Ayurveda surgical instruments and appliances should be made freely available to the practitioners. Considering all these facts, it can be said that science can be considered as an evidence base as it is practiced since 5000 years till today and it is time tested. Most of the practitioners, clinicians, researchers, scholars have always a query in the mind regarding the consideration of the science as evidence-based medicine. It can be said that Ayurvedic medicine or Ayurvedic science is an evidence-based medicine, though it is time-tested, still can be made accepted as an evidence-based medicine in future by conducting more number of quality control studies, pragmatic clinical trials, paper publications, revalidation and standardization of the treatment and its mechanism according to present day's research principle and suitable to present day's disease. So, I request all of you, the researchers, academicians, clinicians present in the gathering to please join hands with Datta Maggi Institute of Medical Sciences through Amayur and join us for the making Ayurveda as a and join us for the venture of establishing Ayurveda as an evidence-based medicine at global platform. Dhaniwad.